Hey, tennis friends, I'm here at the USTA Training Center West in Carson, California for the USTA International Spring Championships for Juniors. I'm standing here on the avenue of drawboards up against the fence here. As you can see behind me, the boys' 18 singles featured match today is the number one seed, Raymond Sarmiento, taking on Emmett Egger. Now, both these guys have played against each other once before in ITF play, and that was on grass, and Sarmiento was the winner. Let's take a look at some of their points in the match today. Since both of these juniors are wearing the same outfit, I'd like to point out that Emmett Egger is wearing a white hat and is now serving. Raymond Sarmiento, the number one C, is now serving. All right, I'm here with the winner of the match and the number one seed, Raymond Sarmiento. Raymond, that was a pretty good match. The Thanks. first set was 6-2, uh, took care of business. The second set, what happened? Uh, I was kind of, you know, playing the same game. I started missing more, and he just kind of got into a rhythm and played a little better. Right, and he won, uh, uh, he won at 6-3, and then uh, you had a medical timeout as well. What happened, what happened there? Um, I guess that... Uh, 3-2 was it? When I was serving, I kind of felt my back kind of just tightened up, kind of rolled up into a ball. And uh, I just called her just, just to let her uh, loosen up my bag a little, a little bit and see if, you know, if she can help me. And she helped me a lot. So. All right, well, then you came back in the third set, and uh, I would say you really took care of business pretty good. I mean, for, yeah. for you know having a back problem and everything, it was 6-1 yeah. uh, in the third. Yeah, I just kind of, you know, made him play. Uh, just kind of got balls back, didn't really do anything special. Um, he just you know, kind of I guess gave it to me. So, well, I, I watched it and it looked more like you took it from him. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I did want to ask you, you know, being the number one seed in a tournament like this, does that give you a lot of confidence or does it put a lot more pressure on you? It gives me a good amount of confidence. To, you know, walk on the court going, you know, the one seed, kind of, kind of have the edge. Or all right, well, good luck in the next round. Okay, thank right. you. Of course, one of the cool things about coming out here to the Home Depot Center in Carson is that it's right next to the docking port of the Goodyear Blimp. So all throughout the day, you'll see the Goodyear Blimp flying around. Right now, there's a girls' doubles match getting ready to be played here on the main court at the International Spring Championships. Now, I'm not familiar with any of these players because they are juniors. Not that I can't pronounce their names. I'm just not familiar with the players. But uh, we'll take a look at some of their points anyway. All right, I'm here with the winners of today's match, uh, Lauren Herring and Grace Min. Uh, pretty tough match today. Yeah. Yeah, what, what happened on that first set? It was like going by so fast. We just weren't playing very well, but I mean, they played well, obviously. It's when it's 6 0. Right, yeah, so that was 6 0, but you came back in the second set and did pretty well. Yeah, um, we just got more energy going and um, we found our rhythm. Very good doubles team, but um, we stayed with our plan and just executed well. 
Well, speaking of your plan, you know, one of the things that I talk about on my website a lot about doubles is teamwork. What's the most important thing to your guys' teamwork? Communication, probably. Yeah, we do. We communicate pretty well. Like we've known each other since we were like really little. Like, so. All right. Well, that's terrific. Good luck from the. Excuse me. Good luck in the next round. Thank you. Right, thanks. Well, to wrap up my day here at the USTA International Spring Championships in Carson, you can see on the board that Raymond Sarmiento beat Egger in singles to make it into the quarterfinals, and that's pretty good for the number one seed. And now if we move all the way down the board to the girls' 18s, you'll find that actually the girls we watched earlier were the number one seeds for girls' 18 doubles. That's right, Lauren Herring and Grace Min also made it into the quarterfinal round. So come on down here to Carson. This event is going on all weekend. That's right, both Saturday and Sunday. And it's at the price we love here at groundspass.net. Absolutely free. That's right, even free parking. So come on down here to see the future of tennis. And I'll see you next time with a lot more tennis outside the lines.